And so we get to the Greek of the last part of Acts chapter 9, the last uh, podcast or uh, e uh, YouTube video for this week in Greek, looking at verses uh, 36 through, I think it's uh, 42. Yes, it's 43. Okay, so let's go. Um, verse 36, so uh, Peter has healed, uh, so Paul has come to Christ. Peter has healed a lame man. Now he's going to raise some from, someone from the dead, just as Jesus did, and by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Joppa, now in Joppa, a certain matriarch, a certain mathetria, a certain female disciple, actually it's the female disciple, mathetes, it's related. A certain female disciple follower was in Joppa, Tabitha by name, which being interpreted is said Dorcas, which means gazelle. Gazelle! Okay, so this is um, a present uh, passive uh, participle, uh, men are passive, being translated, being interpreted. Uh, this this woman, this is the demonstrative pronoun because the rough breathing mark. It's not it's not she. It's this woman. This woman was full of works good. She's full of good works, and of alms of mercy acts, uh, of which uh, she she was doing mercy alms that alms that she was doing imperfect of uh, poyao. And this is the relative pronoun. Uh, it has assimilated to the genitive plural. Genitives, uh, uh, when the antecedent of a relative pronoun is nearby and is in the genitive or dative case, uh, there's a tendency for the relative pronoun to assimilate to that case, which is done here, own, own. Verse 37, and it came to pass, again a ta, aorist of ginomai, in the days those, demonstrative pronoun, uh, being weak, she to die. So it came to pass her to die, uh, infinitive uh, apophanane. It's the aorist infinitive because uh, the than, I just have it memorized, than is the aorist. Uh, it'd be apophanescane if it was present, but it's lost some letters and stuff, second aorist. This is uh, uh, active females carry Uzis and are sassy. So sasa, the sasa is the aorist feminine, so this is a aorist, sigma alpha, uh, aorist active participle, uh, uh, accusative feminine singular, because that's an accusative feminine singular. So, uh, and weak, weak is a euphemism for, sh for being sick. Um, so in, in some cases, so having, having been sick, having, having become sick, her to die. It came to pass her to die. The subject of an infinitive is in the accusative case. And having washed, aorist, because of the sigma alpha, active participle, because of the unt, uh, nominative masculine plural, because of the s, and having washed her, they placed her in an upper room. This is the uh, aorist of uh, tithemi. The kappa alpha would normally think you make you think uh, perfect, uh, but in this case, um, it means uh, uh, it's, it doesn't have the tit. So it's aorist, and the kappa alpha, me verbs do that. Uh, some of them have kappa alpha in the aorist. Verse 38, and Lydda being near to Joppa, uh, this is a genitive absolute, now in the genitive, parts of the genitive, the disciples having heard that Peter is in it, in, it, in Joppa, uh, having heard aorist participle, uh, they sent two men, this is the aorist of ap apostello, uh, to him, exhorting him, that's a present participle. Do not, uh, do not delay. This is a prohibition. May with a aorist subjunctive is prohibition. Don't do it. It's also a quote telling what they're doing. Sigma in the subjunctive indicates aorist. Sigma in the indicative indicates future. Um, so may with the aorist subjunctive. Uh, this is an ace that's been fried because it's subjunctive. The epsilon becomes eta and the yoda hangs on for dear life. Uh, to come. This is an aorist because elf. Uh, Infinitive, because ain, until un, uh, unto us. Uh, verse 39, having arisen, and having arisen, this is the aorist participle of uh, anistemi, to stand up. Uh, Peter went through, went together with them. Uh, this is, elf is the aorist of erkamai, soon erkamai, uh, whom, uh, relative pronoun, arriving, uh, uh, aorist, because the gen, uh, its deponent, paragenomai, so aorist deponent participle, men are passive participles. 
uh, they led him up into the upper room. This is Agagagagaga, gets the heiress of Agum, um, whom they led up into the upper room. And uh, the, all the widows uh, appeared before him. This is the heiress of Paris, Dewey. They appeared before him crying and showing shirts and garments, as many as she was making uh, being with them, as, as, uh, as many as Dorcas was making being with them. This is the present participle of a me. Uh, Eris of Paris to me, the, these are uh, both present participles. This is present active. Active females carry uzis, um, usa. Uh, so it's a present active participle, feminine nominative plural from Clio. And then this is uh, epideic Um It is, um, men are passive, I think probably middle, uh, we should go with here, and showing, um, present middle participle. Uh, okay, uh, verse 40. And casting outside all, this is the aorist, Baal, just one lambda indicates aorist, Balo has two lambdas in the present. Um, we see that with Apostello too, right? In the aorist, it loses one of the lambdas. Uh, and having put the knees, this is the uh, aorist participle of tithemi, loses the ti because it's aorist. Um, he prayed. This is the aorist, C is the key to hidden sigma, sigma alpha, prosukamai, uh, it's deponent. Uh, and having, having turned to the body, he said, aping an aorist, uh, C is the key to hidden sigma, so sigma alpha, it's aorist participle. Tabitha Anastathi. Uh, this is a command, second person singular imperative. Uh, Eris passive, I believe. Um, could be wrong on that. Uh, I noticed in my, I noted in my podcast that this is interestingly similar to Talitha Kumi in Aramaic, but this is Tabitha Kumi. Interesting. Okay. Uh, final, final page, a lot of Greek, sorry. And she opened, uh, so in front of the de, this can mean she, even though it's just the word the. Uh, Arist, she opened, sees the key to hidden sigma. The eyes of her, and having seen the Peter, this is, uh, id is the Arist of uh, Horao. Uh, again, Usa, active females carry Uzis. So this is a, a present active participle, or an Arist active participle. Uh, feminine, no, uh, feminine nominative singular. Um, she set up, uh, Anna Cathidzo. Sigma epsilon is that's an aorist active ending. Verse forty one, and having given to her a hand, this is the aorist of didomi. Again, doesn't have the di because it's aorist participle. Uh, uh, she uh, he caused her to stand, causative active, uh, anahisti anahistamine. No, this is anahistamine, and having uh, called aorist active participle, the saints and the widows. Uh, he presented her living. Living modifies outain. Um, again, again, this is Arist of Paristimi. Verse 42, known and it became, and it became known, uh, according to all of the Joppa, and all, many believed upon the Lord. Um, Arist of Pis, uh, Pistuo. Uh, verse uh, 43, and it came to pass, and it came to pass many days to remain. I think it, probably it came to pass him to remain for many days. So there's a missing out tone here that's implied. And it came to pass him to remain. And then this is the accusative of extent of time for many days. In Joppa, uh, with a certain Simon, who is a tanner, Simon the Tanner. Okay, well, I went through that quickly. I'm sorry. Uh, if you have any questions, put them on my comments in YouTube. Well, it's a lot to lot to handle, but you can see this repetition. If you, if you spent the time to listen to this video um, and just memorized all of those forms, it, we, we're seeing them every day, right? Almost every day we're seeing similar forms. Um, and so eventually you should get the flow of this uh, once you've got it. Uh, and feel free to email me or, or uh, message me uh, or Facebook me or something me uh, if you have questions about any of the Greek here. Thank you. Have a great weekend.